What's up, you guys? Derek Collins with the Diverse Center here to talk to you about time and how time is valuable. Many people don't realize that time is fleeting and you don't have time to waste time. Uh, one of the things that I recognized when I got older is like, hold on, time is more valuable than money and I need to get to things extremely fast. Um, I remember a time when I w went to the Dominican Republic and I was on the beach and these older guys were looking at me. I was riding on the jet ski and I was like, why are these guys staring at me? And I pulled up on the beach and the guy came up to me. He's like, hey, man, you look great on this jet on those jet skis, man. And I said, hey, man, you can do it, too. You know, he's like, no, no, no. Unfortunately, um, I can't do it anymore. I'm too old. And um, um, this is my first time out here. And unfortunately, I waited too long to enjoy life. And when he said that, that hit me. And I, I want you guys to understand, if you're watching this video, do not wait too long to enjoy life. So what do I mean by that? I need you guys to get the information now, okay? Um, you pay to skip the line. You pay to shorten the time uh, that you need to uh, learn something. So that's why it's important to get coaches. It's important to, to pay for training. It's, it's important to get skills, and better yet, it's important to get the information that you need to go to the next level severely fast because we're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised next week. We're not promised next month. And we're not promised next year. So you need to get this now, okay? And one of the things that I wish people would have taught me when I was in college or in grad school or undergrad is, um, you know, the importance of not wasting time and also um, giving me the information that I need to take my business and life to the next level. But unfortunately, they did not have the information because if they did, they wouldn't be teaching college. All right. So if you're like me and felt that, you know, you know, college was a scam and um, you're kind of pissed off because now you have all these student loans to pay back and you're in all this debt um, it's important to you know, get the information now. And I get it. Um, some people are like, oh, I don't want to take this training or oh, I don't want to take this seminar or I don't want to get coaching. It's all fluff and BS and all this stuff. And I'm like, I'm here to tell you guys the cheat code is to pay for information. That is literally the cheat code. If you want to go to the next level, you're going to have to pay for information. There's no way around it. And even if you're in business, the cheat code is to pay for certain things to get handled for you because I don't have the time or the energy to do everything like I used to do it. So for example, I used to do all my marketing myself. Now I just pay someone to do it. I don't handle the marketing aspect of my business anymore. Even though I do know how to do it, there are certain things that I do know how to do. And I and I, that's how I started my business. So I'm very familiar with a lot of the principles and the concepts of marketing online, but I don't do it anymore because I just do not have the time. I pay for that uh, service so I have time to do other things. And if you're afraid to spend money, well, you're going to be in trouble. All right. If you want to keep on being that one woman show or that one man show running your business, you cannot scale. So it is important for you to hire a secretary, hire an assistant, hire uh, another counselor, another therapist on your team. So it frees you up to do what you need to do to build your business. But if you keep on being the one woman show, the one man show, it's going to take you longer or you may not even get to your destination because you're just trying to play it on the cheap. You're trying to play it safe and you're trying to do it on the cheap. You're going to have to spend money. There's no way around it. And this is the part of this video that I want to really hone in on is because a lot of people are not going to tell you this. They'll lie to you and tell you you can do this and do that and not tell you the truth because they want to keep you away from pain. And I'm not here to lie to you. I'm here to tell you the truth. If you want to go to the next level, you're going to have to invest in yourself. Okay? Not just with money, but time as well. Because remember, I think that time is more valuable than money because we cannot get our time back, but we always make more money. You can always get your money back, but you can't get your time back. So we have to walk around understanding that time is valuable. If you want to save time, get rid of the money, 
spend the money to free up your time. You know, I used to cut my yard every uh, every two weeks. I don't cut my yard anymore, okay? Because I need, I want my time back. So I'll pay the guy fifty bucks to come cut my front and backyard, rake up the leaves, and all that stuff. Because I rather spend my time. I rather him have the fifty dollars, and I rather spend the time with my children. The, the more time I get with my children, the better. You know, I usually cut the. I used to cut the yard on Saturdays. Well, if I cut the yard on Saturdays, that's taking time away from my children. So I'll pay the guy fifty bucks. Hey, you do it. Okay, he comes every two weeks. You know, cuts my grass. So I want you guys to understand that um, you have to be willing and ready to spend money. Don't be afraid to spend money because time is more valuable than money. Understand that concept. Free yourself up. And I know it may be a, 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 a fearful situation for most of you that you might be a one a woman show, one man show, and you're trying to figure things out. But I'm telling you, add another person to your private practice. It will free you up and it will give you more time to do what you need to do. Okay. You know, a lot of people get caught into um, chasing little money. And because you chase little money, you miss out on the big money. Well, you hire another person to get the big money. See, if you hire another person and you give up the little money, you hire another person. Now it frees you up. Now you have time to go after the big money. Okay. I want you guys to think about that. Now you're not all burnt out and now you're not all, you know, chasing money. Now the money's chasing you because now you have someone answering your phones scheduling your appointments but if you're the person that um you're answering all your phone calls and you're scheduling everything yourself and then you're doing all the notes and then you're doing all the classes and you're doing all the treatment and you're doing all the evaluations you're going to burn yourself out okay and you're going to miss a lot of stuff because if you're doing an evaluation your phone rings you're gonna miss out on the call and then you try to call the person back and he's he or she has already found some someone else to go to so understand that concept, man. Spend the money, okay? If you want to be, if you want to earn more, spend more. Believe it or not, if you want to earn more, spend more. That's how it works. Earn more, spend more. Spend more, earn more, okay? I spend a ton of money on advertising. I spend a ton of money on my staff, and I spend a ton of money on my self development and. Um, level leveling up, okay. Spend money, okay. So if you feel like you've been lied to, if you've been burnt before, I highly recommend that you contact me because I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you the truth, even if it hurts. So if you've been burnt and you've been lied to by the school system, if you've burnt and been lied to by your professors or other people in the field and you sign up for these different training programs and they did not work, well, contact my office. I'm going to help you out. Okay. We're going to help you out. We're going to tell you the truth and we're going to tell you the stuff that works because we do it every single day. Okay. If you're more successful, I'm going to be more successful. So I'm going to be invested in your business. I'm going to be invested in your success, but you have to be willing to do the work. OK, people tell me that, oh, therapy doesn't work. And I tell them, yes, you're right. It doesn't work because you didn't do the work. It doesn't work if you don't do the work. So if you're willing to do the work, if you're willing to commit, if you're willing to execute and not just talk about it, because a lot of people talk. So many people just talk, talk, talk and talk about what they're going to do instead of doing it. If you're a person that just talks, then you'll be in the same place next year. And I just got done talking to you guys about time and how important time is. If you waste your time and you're in the same place next year, that's your fault. If you keep on doing the same stuff that you did last year and the year before and the year before that, that's your fault because you chose not to change. You, you can't, you chose to keep the same habits. You chose to listen to the same people and you chose to do the same things. That's where it's at. But if you want 
to have different results. You're going to do different things. You're going to listen to different people and you're going to have new patterns of behavior. And you're going to decide, hey, it's time to level up this year. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to work on my appearance. Okay. I'm also going to work on what I wear. I'm going to work on my presentation, up my clothes. I'm going to get in buildings or surroundings or rooms where there are people that make more money, money than me. And I'm going to learn from them and I'm going to stretch and I'm going to feel uncomfortable and I'm, I'm going to learn what I need to learn. I'm going to do stuff without people telling me to do it. I'm going to be proactive and not reactive. And I'm going to bet on myself. Instead of betting on other, on other people, I'm, I'm going to have more faith in myself than I do other people. It makes no sense for you to have more faith in other people than you do in yourself. Bet on yourself. Don't wait until 2024, 2025, 2026 and be like, oh, I'm going to have a New Year's resolution. This is going to be my year. And you do the same crap every single year. One of the ways to build confidence is to stop breaking promises to yourself. So many people break promises to, promises to themselves and they wonder why they're not confident. Keep your promises to yourself. Own up to everything that you do. Stop wasting time. Stop procrastinating. Stop having analysis paralysis and understand that you're not promised tomorrow. You can die next week. And I hope that doesn't happen, but it is a reality for many people in this world. It can happen to me. So that's why I'm not wasting time and I'm not going to lie to you because someone has to keep it real with you. I hope this helps. Talk to you guys later.